Uh, we don't want to tip you over. Please don't. Um. What do you mean I dropped it? Where the hell did it go? You gotta be kidding me. Oh yeah. We don't we've we've done this before. We don't need to do that. Where did my raft go, man? It's funny, the same problems that persisted on other games like that. Well crap. So much for exploring the wild blue yonder, boys and girls. What is up, everybody? Let's try it, your boy Bloodstalker. We're back with some more Escape the Pacific. Now, unfortunately, yet again, for some reason, when I first start recording, it's not recording it. I don't know what is going on. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm about to figure it out. Anyway, for some reason, the first part of this video didn't get recorded yet again. So here we sit with me doing a voiceover, at least in this one. I tell you, the frustrations are real for me. But anyway, I digress. I jumped back into Escape Pacific because I had an update. They did a lot of fixes for the save function and everything else. Now, save was added a while back. We hadn't played since then, but there was problems with it. Now, they've got that all fixed. The game has been progressing pretty good, in my opinion. Um, but I wanted to jump back into it and play with more of the things we didn't get a chance to play with before. So, it's again, it's another short video, and I apologize. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Till next time, peace out. All right, let's just drop all these coconuts. So go back to equipping it. Now I do need a green coconut to drink or two. You drink. Oh, there we go. Q drop. Okay, I gotta get used to these hand controls. Up. Oh. Okay, I've already. I guess I've already drank that one. Crap! I know I dropped some more over here. Oh, no, drop you. What are you doing? Are you? No, you're a good coconut. See, this, this is one thing that frustrates me. But let's not talk about frustrating things first. Let's talk about... Well, let's just talk about the good things, okay? Now, what this game has for it that I do appreciate and like is, like I said, the simplicity of, the, of getting to what you need. You go from here, you keep hitting down, and you just break it apart. You're not crafting anything in your inventory. You're just actually crafting it. How is my vital stats real quick? Uh, we're full on everything. I need to eat something. Let's try eating a coconut. All right, let's do this again. Now, when I say that, though, I mean, the bottom line is this. The game is very simplistic in its own right. There's nothing wrong with that. I think it's pretty cool. Dry husk. Ah, strip coconut. Look at that. See, everything just breaks down. Well, I can drink that, too. Okay, can I dr eat that, preferably? I'm still figuring out all the mechanics, and no, you cannot. Okay, well, what if I do this? There we go. See, now I'm figuring things out. That's what I like about it. It's not hard to get going in this game. Who got a coconut flesh? Eat that stuff. Uh, how are we doing now? That actually gave us a lot of hunger. All right, back to what we we're doing here, man. All right, so we need some palm fronds. Let's run over here and do this. And I want to tell you right now, when you're crafting and building stuff in this game, take your resources down pretty close by. See, it's just going to keep doing that. I don't know why it won't do that. It should automatically put it in your backpack for you. And it doesn't. It should stack them, too. There we go. Now we're playing with something interesting. Because, see, when you're building stuff, it does that. Oh, I'll need the small sticks now. Derp. All right, now we get to watch the the very awesome. Oh wow, I guess I had more than I thought. There we go. Now we get to watch the awesome just breaking down of nature. I mean, look at this. Watch, it goes from a trunk. See how it's wet? It was soaked. Now it's just wet. So like that, over time it dries. So you can't just cut down a tree and start burning it. I mean, logistically, that's kind of real realistic. So that's that kind of goes to the other part that I like about this game. The realism to it is a little bit more than some of the other ocean water survival games, which is pretty cool to me. I mean, I enjoy a good realistic survival game, but not a survival game that's so intense that it's just crazy. You know what I mean? All right. Guess we're gonna need another small stick. So we got a long stick, but got two small sticks. Pretty nice to know. Now, 
with all that said though there are some things i think that need to be improved one you shouldn't have to keep hitting the mouse button to click to hit things oh, don't hit it again well actually let's pick that up let's finish building this real quick because i want to see what happens when you take it down even further all right hold on hammer oh look at that we got storage baby we got a bed we got storage we almost got a campfire you see progress is being made here i'm pretty proud of myself for me that's a good thing all right uh, what are you doing, dude? Oh, so you can craft the crates. You can put... It's kind of, so, I mean, this this thing game kind of takes everything that we liked about um, Stranded Deep and kind of makes it a little bit different for us. I'm down with that. I'll go with that. We better get a fire going, though. So we need equipment tools. Let's build us a little campfire. Let's do it right about here. So we're going to need fire stick. So let me guess. That's going to be what we take this little stick down, the small sticks down to. That's kind of cool. It's almost dry. So while those are almost drying, we're going to go ahead and get these down to it. So we need a couple of these because we're going to have to make some other stuff too. We've got to make the little fire tender thing or the striker. We'll let these dry out while we're making the other thing. Because it's not going to matter to it whether or not it's freaking, you know, wet or dry making that. So you can't take them down any further. That's pretty dang cool. All right, so while we're crafting that, we're going to need this. All right, so we're going to need one small fire stick, one coconut fiber. Really? Huh. Will that work right there? No, I didn't think so. Drop it. I think I'm going to have to do this. It's come to this, folks. We're going to knife it up. Yep. How did I know? Dude, this is, I, I like the, I, th I will honestly say, let's go back to what I like about the game. The crafting mechanics are pretty dang cool. Small stick and a fire stick. Okay, at least it's not dropping them this time. Alright, what do you need? You just need fire, four fire sticks. All right, let's just grab all that up. So let's go ahead and get us our small stick. I'm digging this, man. Small stick, fire sticks, fire sticks, fire sticks, fire sticks, fire sticks. Okay, I got enough fire sticks, I think. Bam. Add kindling. Actually, only coconut fiber can be used. Craft a fire saw. We're doing that right now. So you're going to need coconut husk. That's pretty damn cool. All right, let's equip our small stick. Where's it at? <laughs> wow, <laughs> these things look tiny in representation. How about we equip that? Okay, it is equipped. All right, check it out. All right, all right. Make easy flammable material can be used as kindling. Coconut fire, dry grass, tiny sticks. Okay. Put. Ah, oh, neat. Okay, let's get some more of that. Because we want to make sure we can get this thing going right. I don't want to fail. I mean, this is some serious survival stuff. You don't want to fail the first time. You want to prepare and do it right. So I'm going to put as much of that husk as I can there. Because it's all dry. Dude, this is so freaking cool. I like this. This is so different than most games we play. Oh, can I not put it there? Okay. Well, we got extra. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's why my tool belt wasn't working. I wasn't doing it right, hitting the control button. Okay, how do I crouch? Okay, maybe I can't. All right, ignite. Okay, permanent on the top of the fire. Customer small rocks around the fire. It's not visible, but can be focused on. Okay, the custom cook place also invisible or automatically created on topic. On top of the small rocks, which can be added to the fireplace after completing. Ah! Oh. Well, that's kind of cool. I mean, that's interesting. Now, these are carving rocks. I don't think we can use that. So, check us out. We actually have a fire going, man. Look at this. Picture perfect home. I like it. It looks good. Alright, so these are the things I like about the game. I mean, most part, it's not a bad game. It really isn't. How's our hunger and thirst? We could eat. I don't want to eat a dead crab, so let's equip that. 
Oh, I can't. Unable to drag it. Let's put put him up. Oh, there we go. We we'll just slap him on. <laughs> Guess we're gonna cook him all. <laughs> Look at him. Hold on. This is this is more of the better picture. What is that noise? Got the, the the sound effects are pretty good in this game too. The wind noise and everything. The wind gust. It's craziness. Cooking dead crab. I like this. Oh, this is awesome. Now, what are we going to get into next? I really think we need to get into some boats. I mean, really, honestly, that's probably going to be our option. I mean, we got to sail the seven blue seas or whatever. So, basic raft modular, canoe, log. Water vehicle, which allows the player to travel shorter distances. If strong waves, it's rocky and hard to control. Any water vehicle. So, what does that take? Two wood trunks, one thick branch, primitive hammer hits. The rudder, small sticks, and primitive hammer hits. Sail mast, and a palm sail. I think we can handle that. I think we can. Cooking. So when's it going to be done? That's my question. Well, I'm going to eat my little crab here, take a nap, and we're going to start gathering the stuff to make a boat. So, <clears throat> what have I learned in my little nap time? Well, I learned that saving is not, you don't save in there. You just actually can save at any time. Just hit escape. See? Save. It's kind of nice. I like that right now. I like the fact you don't have to rely upon that. So we didn't really have to do all this, but I wanted to anyway. I wonder if I could cook that. Also, these fires go out pretty quick. Make sure you keep firewood around. I'm serious. It went out. Then when it goes out, it disappears. But you can. You have to like. If you find where it's at, it pops up. So I went ahead and rebuilt it again. Now you do have to make another fire saw too. That's kind of cool. All right. So we need a thick branch. Oh, and I figured out the tool belt. Okay, I'm an idiot. The tool belt only allows for three items over here on the left, so there's nothing wrong with it, or on the right here, I mean. There's nothing wrong with it. You have two pockets, and you have your hand item. I didn't really realize that, so keep your hand free, and keep your tool, tool, bucket, tool belt fill, full. God, if I could speak English today. All right. So, pick up the palm prong. Is that my hand? That should be my hatchet. Okay. One's a hatchet. Yeah, look at that. I love it. The tool, the tool belt's pretty cool. I mean, there's a lot of cool things. You just got to quite understand them a little bit. And make a backpack. Don't make anything else. The backpack's just as easy to make. Those are thick branches. I need wood. I don't think I need branches. We'll find out. I, I honestly don't know what I need. I do need thick branches. Just one. I'm an idiot. Thick branch me. Thank you. Ah, look at that. Now we need a trusty tool belt three. Ah, whack it. Whack it. And a whack it. One more time. Another time. Five more times. Oh, look at that. And you can see how it's getting built. I love that. Progressive crafting. I like that. The raft base is a very basic building component on a water vehicle. It can be joined with other raft bases. Equip a hammer and drag the raft base to the other side of the raft to join. A raft provides mounts to attach a rudder and a small mast to its base. So, we've done this before. I don't think I need a... I don't think I need a big raft. I don't. But we're going to do that, I think. I don't know. I really don't know. I just want to get out on the ocean and start sailing, actually. So screw it. We're just going to go for it. Because, honestly, I just want to go out there in the wild blue yonder. Worst case scenario is, we die a horrible death. I mean, let's just be honest. Small sticks. Oh. Hammer. There we go. Our right, hatchet. Well, that's a big hatchet. Look at that. Okay, small dry sticks. Grab you up. So it just takes one. I love the fact that this stuff doesn't take a lot of stuff to make. Now, so far, other than just like little things being kind of weird, like the tree doing the, the spinning clock motion, it's pretty crazy. For steering, a rudder must be attached to the raft base. Just equip a hammer and drag the rudder to the base to attach it to the rear. Okay. Why can I not? Okay. Attach. There we go. Oh, you just hold it down. Oh, nice. Where am I supposed to attach it at, though? Well, that didn't work out too well, did it? Q rotate to the left. Okay, how about we get this thing, like, airborne and a little bit better here? E rotate. Okay, we're playing with this distance 
it doesn't give you like a point of reference or anything. Oh, there it is. Bam. Ooh, dude, I'm good. I'm so good at this. All right, now, what else do we need? Oh, I'm liking it. Now we need a sail mast. I bet it's a long stick, isn't it, or a log, maybe? I don't know. Okay, let's just... Maybe I need... To, okay, okay. Q to drop. Okay, what the hell? Okay, that just fell through. <laughs> let's try this one more time. <laughs> that was bad. That was pretty bad, I'm not going to lie. All right, so now we need a thick branch... And that's it. Wow, see? What are you? You're a long stick. I think I got a thick branch up here. There we go. Oh, thick branch. Look at that. We're so good at this game. I'm telling you. Three it. Up, oh, hammer. Now, I'm assuming there is durability on things. I love this. Could you, like, hit? Come on. Come on. Oh, got it. All right, now we got to do the same thing. So equip the hammer, okay. Drag thicker end parts to be able to attach. Oh, oh, that's cool. So it tells you to come over here. Bam. Oh, we got a sail mask. That's a, that's a pretty big sail mask, guys. <laughs> you know what? Screw it. We're going to do this. We're doing this, and you're not going to stop us, timer. I refuse to let you stop us. All right, now we need a palm sail. Easy enough. I do have some palms on me. Equip. That's all I got is a wand. <laughs> well, I said I had some. All right. We have enough here, though. Oh, would you stop with that? Now will you go in the inventory? No, you, you, just, you just refuse to, don't you? That's one of the things that's kind of frustrating. But it's livable. You know what I mean? Okay, we need long sticks now. Oh, I got one. Dude, this is just working out too well. Isn't it, though? I'm telling you. My favorite, I don't know. I couldn't tell you what my favorite is out of the three. Stranded Deep, Escape the, Paci or Escape the Pacific, or Lost Shipwreck. Out of those three games, I mean, all legit, honestly, I love all three of them. There's things about all three of them I do enjoy a lot. However, I think Lost Shipwreck right now seems to be in the lead. This one has a lot of potential itself. Well, you put that up. All right. This one does have a lot of potential, just in the mechanics, the base foundation of what this game is. I encourage you guys to keep it, at least keep an eye on it, because it's gonna it's gonna get work. It's gonna get stuff added to it. They're keeping updates on it right now. I think they have. I think it's gonna happen. I think it's gonna be a really good game. So don't fret. I am gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna keep things going on it, and make sure we keep up to date on our ourselves. I mean, just bottom bottom line, because we owe it that. It's, it's piqued my interest. It's gotten my attention. I think we need to continue to watch it. And I'm going to keep playing around on it because I just want to explore a little bit more and see stuff. One more. Bam! The cell, the main element of a raft. Oh, yes, it is. I love it. Oh, so we can raise and lower the sail. Oh, that is so freaking cool. So how do I do that? Oh, that's weird. So you can take a hammer to detach stuff. That is cool to know. Boy, this is. Yeah, we might need a bigger raft. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see what kind. Of, let's see what kind of damage we can do. This might be really funny. Okay. Um, how about we just put you up? Up drag. See. So how do I raise these? Oh, there we go. W up. Whoa. <laughs> wow, that's up. Okay, too shallow water. Okay, stop sailing. Okay, that's how. That's what we do. Whoa, what are you doing there, guy? We need to get you out into the water. Whoa, how did you get up? Drag it. Oh, I can move the distance, too. Uh, we don't want to tip you over. Please don't. Um, what do you mean I dropped it? Where the hell did it go? You gotta be kidding me. Oh, yeah. We don't, we've, we've done this before. We don't need to do that. Where did my raft go, man? It's funny. The same problems that persisted on other games like that. Well, crap. So much for exploring the wild blue yonder, boys and girls. 
That's just freaking weird. Maybe that's a sign. Maybe the seas are not safe to travel today. I don't know. I want to know how to get into this, though. Open you. There we go. Wow, you can actually hold a lot of stuff in here. I am impressed. Color me impressed. Okay, we're dying. Let's drop that. Did not realize that. But hey. One. There we go. Didn't realize that. That's, that's really sad. It's pretty dang sad. Anyway, boys and girls, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure and give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> Look at that. We're down to 66 hill. Wow. Oh, this is just sad. All these coconuts. Can I, like, hit you? Yes, I can. Ugh. You to drink it. Anyway, I've been your wonderful host, Bloodstalker. This has been Escape the Pacific, the very, very early access version of it. Keep that in mind. I don't want you guys judging this game based on the simple fact that there's a lot of weird, wonky stuff in it, like the boat disappearing. Bananas. Ah, oh, I love it. So anyway, till next time, if you like the video, make sure to hit a thumbs up for me. If it's your first time stopping by, come on, hit subscribe. You know you want to. What was that? Was that, that was the other mask that I tried to make? Just bobbling through the water? Jesus Christ, this is hilarious. Oh my God. Anyway, till next time, you know the drill. Peace out, y'all.